Careful. I don't want you ending up in some back alley Atlantean chiropractor's office. I hear therapy involves a rack and two bulls. Nice work, Gage. Now that we've dammed that river, we can get into the secret passage. After you. Gage, any second they're gonna turn that water back on and, well, to cut to the chase, this suit can only be dry clean. If you ask me, and I suppose you just did, <laughs> the mural is depicting the ceremony that the olive oil woman spoke of. She told us that the Galif floats up on a column of water and imbues the water with healing properties during the initiation rite for the Templars. The pyramid object in the mural might be the Galif. Padros! I'm glad to see they... they agreed to send you. You know, seeing you again brings back the... the good times we had during initiate training. That is, until... Well, I... I wish I'd had the courage back then to stand with you, instead of biting my tongue and grudgingly accepting the Templar's insular views. I was a coward. Either he's one of those trendy young Elliot Sinclair impersonators, or Saros is Elliot Sinclair. Now, from the looks of his outfit, I'd say he's an important guy around here. Something about being a Templar allowed him to live until your time. Thousands of years later. Think it's something in the tap water? Yes, their views were very... uh... Insular. Yes. And you were absolutely right. The Galith does not belong to the Templars. It was meant for everyone. What right do they have to determine who should or shouldn't receive its... its healing grace? And despite great risk to yourself, you stood by your beliefs, even though it would mean at the very least giving up an opportunity you had waited your entire lifetime for. Opportunity? The opportunity to commune with the Galith. To find out if you were worthy of its most precious gift. Eternal life. But now you shall have your chance. I will not stand in your way. I hereby renounce my title of Guardian Templar. I haven't the stomach for it. But before I go, you will need this. It will no longer serve me. What will you do now? When I became a Templar initiate, I truly believed the Order was my life's calling. But I now realize that I cannot do the world a service by sequestering the Gaelith from those in need. I have been given a gift, and it's time I use it. I can help others, share with them the teachings of the Earth Mother. Her blessings were meant for all. Your courage has helped me to see this, and now I must call upon my own to find my way. Good luck, my friend. The 
That's not exactly a Casio, but it looks like some form of mechanism that tracks the passage of time. That must be what a moon meant by a clockwork device. Every clock needs some sort of stored energy to keep accurate time. I don't see a giant rodent treadmill, so I'd say this calendar clock is powered by measured volumes of water. That dais structure in the room's center shows some stunning craftsmanship. This chamber must be sacred since the dais is covered with ornamental bullheads. work! Looks like your water clock repair correspondence class has finally paid off. Let's grab that rock and get out of here. I can feel some sickly energy flowing from you. Show me what you have found. The subject was sheltered in one of the temples. Could it be the legacy? Yes, this is a relic of the elders. It bears the mark. The other inscriptions are, are very complex. I will attempt to translate, but my knowledge of Sosigui is limited. We discovered long ago that several old Earth languages were actually primitive dialects of Sosigui. This is only a part of the true legacy. The inscriptions speak of three vessels piously guarded that hold the powers of the legacy. This is only one. But, Gage has given us hope. Did you find objects like this in the other two temples? No. I haven't searched them completely yet. I briefed the World Senate on what's been going on. They lifted the suspension and have given us full sanction to search for the legacy. You must understand, Ambassador Yosala. TSA protocol requires that only agents stay in the command room. I understand, Commissioner Baldwin. If you need our assistance, you need but to ask. I will devote all my energies to slowing the advance of the Quotha loss. Don't. I want you to pour over every molecule of this thing and run these inscriptions to our language database. We need information. I'm gonna need someone knowledgeable to help me analyze this. Not to question your judgment, sir, but you just kicked that someone out. I need to know who I can count on in a crisis. The only people I can fully trust are my agents. Bring Michelle back. 
She's an expert linguist and historian. Agent 3, she's a criminal, what's worse, a traitor. She captured and imprisoned you, remember? No, I don't. That memory was erased. But she did give herself up to give us this chance. Put her under house arrest, do whatever you have to do, but bring her back. We need her. I can't do this alone. Very well. I'll release her. But if she slips up once, she's history. I think she might surprise you. I'll be back when I find another of the artifacts. You should know. The Catholics have entered Symbiotry's space. They are ignoring all other planets and continuing towards Earth. It is doubtful the Symbiotry defenses will slow them. Time is now our enemy. Now I'm sure you're the only employee here. You're like a night watchman named Pops who comes around once in a while with a big ring of keys to make sure all the shiny metal things here still beep and look pretty. No one here to send us off again. It's not like I'm asking for a big goodbye party or anything, but a little appreciation would be nice. We're risking our necks here and... What? You got a get back soon card from Agent 3? Well, whoop-dee-doo, Mr. Popular.
Ah, so where shall I take you now, huh? The dock. Hmm, that will be ten dromoi, please. We've arrived. Uh, I... Thank you for your business, eh? Many huge terracotta pots like those pithoi were uncovered in the excavation of Nosos, the Minoan capital on Crete. Many of them ranged up to nine feet tall and six feet in diameter. It's amazing they could turn pots that large, let alone fire them. All those handles were to distribute the weight over multiple ropes when they moved them. Looks like Padro's left to fulfill his part of the underground's plan. And it also looks like he left his bowl. <laughs> 